Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in. Um, for those that have already seen my previous video, you may be familiar about my thoughts of Unreal Engine 5. It can stretch all the way to the horizon. No way! No, that is too much! <laughs> my eyes, they cannot see! Whilst Unreal Engine 5 is incredible, there are a few concerns that transitioning over to Unreal Engine 5 may cause further problems as the optimization development step of asset creation uh, will no longer be required. Um, so would this theoretically destroy your FPS performance in game? Or are you planning to upgrade your graphics card to the new 30 series um, in anticipation of Ashes of Creation transitioning over to Unreal Engine 5? My official advice is to wait. If we go back to the Weapon Development Dev Diary video on the official Ashes of Creation YouTube channel, we can see that one asset can potentially take up to one to three weeks to create. So any technologies or enhancements that could be done to speed up that process even further would be detrimental for such a large project like Ashes of Creation. We've been shown that to create one asset, it requires the use of multiple softwares from ZBrush, Autodesk Maya, Substance Painter, and Marmoset Toolbag. As an example of this, here we can see in this Scale Runner creation video in the Dev Diary series, it's being imported from ZBrush to Substance Painter and then to Marmoset Toolbag. With Unreal Engine 5 boasting that any asset can be directly imported into a project from ZBrush, could be a revolutionary advancement for development of Ashes of Creation, not only for the game development before release, but after release as well. So there's definitely some great incentives to transition over to Unreal Engine 5. And personally, I don't think it's a question of will Ashes of Creation make the upgrade, but rather when. So that's it, a done deal, right? Get the new 30 series card and experience all the FPS and RTX card rays. Um, not quite. What? So we know that there's been a huge leap in performance with the new 30 series card. A lot of it can be attributed to the fact that Nvidia has finally been able to achieve a smaller chip architecture of eight nanometers, rather than the 12 nanometer predecessor in the previous 20 series generation. As far as we know, this has only been possible with the partnership of Samsung to manufacture their new designs. Whereas AMD have been able to achieve seven nanometers since June 2017, but were unable to utilize all the monstrous compute performance to graphics performance due to CPU architecture designs. If AMD are able to resolve these engineering challenges, then AMD will still give Nvidia a good run for their money. In fact, technical director at Unreal, Daniel Wright, has stated that their single global illumination system known as Lumen does not require any special ray tracing hardware, meaning Unreal Engine 5 may not perform or look more impressive specifically on Nvidia GPUs. Therefore, AMD may actually be the better choice if you're going to completely no life Ashes of Creation. Unthinkable, right? You crazy son of a bitch, you did. So as stated previously at the start of this video, the best advice right now is to wait before you upgrade. We will need the numbers to confirm which brand will perform better in Unreal Engine 5, which we won't know until it's fully released until the end of 2021, unless Steven can work some more of his magic and directly approach Unreal to work together to release the best game of all time, but only time will tell. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for tuning into this short video. Um, I thought it'd be best to get this information out there as soon as possible, as everybody in my community Discord is hyping over the new 30 series card. And to be honest, it is completely justified. Um, but still, it's worth the wait to see what's on the other side to stop buyer's remorse, which we all know is an evil bitch. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down on the video with your thoughts, as I would really like to see what you guys have to say. Um, but until the next video, I'll see you guys next time in a bit.